and the grisly task of searching for bodies. They were the first to inspect the sections of the suburban parish of St. Bernard. News Tracker 2 takes us to New Orleans, and that is where ABC2 News Scott Broom is. He is the only local reporter with those recovery crews. He joins us now live. Scott? Dell, imagine an area the size of Harford County, most of it flooded, the rest of it completely unlivable. That is suburban St. Bernard Parish, which is just outside here in downtown New Orleans. It became so isolated by floods that outside rescuers are only just now pouring in as water recedes. Today, Central Maryland's 70-man urban search and rescue team joined the military and other rescuers from around the nation to begin going door to door looking for survivors or bodies. 67,000 people once lived here. It is ghostly now. Much is still underwater, like that nursing home where 30 bodies were discovered last Thursday the outside world didn't get confirmation, though, until yesterday, and the bodies are still there. I talked to the parish emergency manager at a makeshift medical office set up at a local refinery today. How many people are left out there alive, do you think? We have no idea. How many people are out there that didn't make it? Right now, we can confirm about 100, 120. I really believe we're going to see our, our total go up to 500, if not more. I ordered, I ordered 700 body bags, so that, that should tell you what I ordered. And now take a look at some of the hazards facing the Maryland rescuers and the military. A fleet of chemical tankers destroyed the loads of toxins spilled and spread all over unaccounted for. These are just some of the conditions facing rescuers who are prepared for decontamination. Maryland's team, by the way way is protected by Baltimore City Police. There have been reports of gunfire in St. Bernard's, but no widespread violence or looting reported there. A fire chief I talked to in St. Bernard today said that what rescuers eventually will find there, and it will take time, he said, quote, will shock the nation. He said many people in St. Bernard did stay there to ride out the storm, and it was almost impossible to evacuate once the water came up. He predicts many of them were, in fact, trapped. Reporting live in New Orleans, Scott Broom, ABC2 News. Scott, we are hearing reports tonight that they have ordered 25,000 body bags. Does that jive with what you're hearing down there? Uh, that's in the city of New Orleans in the St. Bernard Parish. The number is smaller, but there really is going to be no accurate prediction on how many people they're going to find until those teams like Central Maryland's get out there and, and go door to door. That's literally what it's going to take. And uh, it, it takes a long time. And that's just on the dry ground. Uh, the water's receding in much of the rest of the parish. And uh, they may have to do the door to door by boat like they are here in New Orleans. Scott Broom reporting live tonight from St. Bernard Parish. Thank you very much, Scott. And in New Orleans, police there said today they had just received 10 calls overnight, and all of them were from residents who wanted to now leave town.